Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be unboxing some questionable Funko Pops. So let's get started. So this is a package that I've been waiting for for probably about two to three months now, and here it is right here. By the way, this is the most tape I've ever seen on a box. <laughs> And if you guys are wondering how I ran into these questionable Funko Pops, my friend Alejandro and I were looking around online to see if we could find some websites that were selling figures for too cheap of a price. And we ran into this website right here, and I don't want to promote them just because I don't want you guys buying these fake figures and then having them in your collections when you guys could go out and buy the real ones for some of them, probably the same price. So inside of this package here, guys, is three figures, two of them that I own so we can compare them to see if they're real or fake. And the third one was just so crazy of a figure that it couldn't be real. So guys, let's cut into this and see what's up with them. And to be honest, now that I think about it, they could have sent me anything. I don't even know if the pops are in here, but whatever's inside of here, I'm sure you guys are really going to enjoy it. All right, guys, so it is a box inside of a box. I guess they do have some pretty good shipping. You guys, by the looks of this box, if I were to take a figure and compare it to this, I'm sure three figures would fit inside of here. So fingers crossed they're the ones I ordered. All right, guys, so I don't know which one to start with here. Maybe we'll start with the cheapest and build up to the most expensive because I feel like that'll be the most fun. And the first figure that we have here today, guys, is the Hot Topic exclusive Elvis Stitch. Now, just looking at this right away, it seems pretty legit. I see the Hot Topic exclusive sticker. The box looks really great. It's a little dinged up on the inside, and it did come in a protector, and it was inside of another box, so I don't know why it was damaged. It was probably shipped like that, but I don't really mind that as much as I care about, you know, seeing if this is a legit figure or not, but so far, it doesn't look too bad. And then, so this is the one that is very questionable, and then I actually have my real figure here, and it looks really similar. Maybe the paint job is a little bit cleaner on the real one, but other than that, it's not too bad. Now, guys, the one thing that I like to check is if they have the copyright on the bottom of the feet, because if they don't, that's a pretty big red flag. Also guys, just taking it out of the box, you can see that this one here is the one that is questionable, and then this is the real one, and it's a little bit darker on the bottom. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera. Let me see if I can do it a little bit better. But you guys can see there, this one is a little bit darker. And guys, looking at the top, it is also a little bit darker, and I just remembered that this is the same thing that happened with the ones that we got over at Dollarama. All right guys, so looking at the foot, it does have the copyright, so this is I don't know, this could be real. And I'm even looking guys on the back of his head, like under his neck, he has another copyright that is for Elvis Presley. And this figure here also has that one. So I don't know guys, this does seem pretty legit. Maybe the only thing that's wrong with it is the box. And if it's that, I'm not complaining. And I mean guys, the whole figure kind of checks out. The only thing that I see that's a little bit different about it is that the paint job is a little bit better on the one from Hot Topic. But other than that, it seems like a pretty legit figure. And yes, the box is a little off, but it's not that bad. Now guys, I also wanna check this one here to see if it has the Elvis Presley copyright on the bottom and it does hmm so this is pretty interesting and I'm looking at both of them here and they both look pretty similar I mean again like I said there's a little bit more glitter on this one that is actually from Hot Topic and then this one here the eyes are a little bit matter than this one this one's got like a little bit of a gloss to it but other than that they're pretty much the same all right guys, so so far for the Elvis Presley stitch I would say that it is pretty legit I know it could be fake but if it is fake it's a really well done one and now looking at it a little bit closer guys I can see the stitch is a little bit of a different color but it's not that bad well anyways guys let's move on to the next Next one because I am pretty excited about that one. Also, before we get on to the next one, I want to let you guys know that I paid $30 for each of these figures. So the Elvis Stitch was $30, and then the other two were also $30. So this right here is kind of crazy that I got this one for $30, and if it is legit, that'd be pretty nice. And if you guys are wondering which one this is, this is the $400 Chase Jason Voorhees. Now the reason I got this one is because the Jason Voorhees is actually a glow-in-the-dark figure, so I kind of want to take a look at this one to see what the difference is between this one and then the legit one. All right guys, so here is the questionable one, and I have the real one right here, and the first thing that stood out to me is the tops of the box, where this one here is the questionable one. It's got this kind of like dark gray color, where this one here, the legit one, has like a lighter gray. And if you guys can see there, the gray actually happens on the bottom of the figure as well, and if you were to look at the sides of the boxes as well as the back, the legit one has like a dark blue kind of color, where this one's kind of black. And the main reason I chose this one is because this one here is a glow-in-the-dark Funko Pop, so I want to see if this one glows the same color, a different color. I don't know, I was just really intrigued to see what would happen. All right, guys, so we're over in the storage closet, and I'm just charging these up right now, so that way you guys can see them at their full glow potential. Um, so let's start with the legit one, and then we'll move over to the questionable one. So here we go, you guys ready? Ooh, okay guys, so this one does glow green, and that's the color that it should glow. There was actually two different versions of this one, one that glowed blue, that was an error, and then one that glows green. So I have the green one, so I'm guessing the other one's also gonna be green, because that makes the most sense, but let's test it out here. Okay guys, here we go, three, two, one. Oh wow, 
Okay guys, so it seems like they both glow a pretty good green. Well, all right guys, we're now back from the glow test and I will say, I kind of hope that this one glowed like a random like pink or purple or orange color, but now that we know that it glows green, it does make it more legit. And I know some people had mentioned this to me last time I did a video on like questionable Funko Pops. They were saying that these could have just been factory errors and because Funko does make sure that their figures are pretty good quality, they sometimes quality control some of the figures and maybe they get taken off the assembly line at this stage. Okay guys, this is kind of funny. So I'm looking at the sides of the box here. Now this one is the one that is legit. You guys can see it says Jason Voorhees right there, which of course all figures do. But then this one here has a completely different font, but it also says Jason Voorhees. The questionable figure just has a bit of a thinner font. I've never seen that font before on a figure like this, so it is kind of weird to see it now. It's funny because the front text is exactly the same on both of them, but when you turn it to the side, this one is completely different. And with this one having the different text on the side, it makes me feel like it's more of a fake than a factory error. And if you guys don't know what a factory error is, it's like if it doesn't make Funko standards, they take it off the assembly line and do not ship it out. And a lot of Funko's products are made in China, so it totally makes sense that this one could have been one of the ones that were just quality controlled, taken off the assembly line and then someone maybe who works at the factory could take this and sell it online. And that's what I mean guys, with the Elvis Stitch it looked very very similar and with this one here I also thought it was very similar but with it having different text, I don't know anymore. And now guys I do want to pop this one out of the protector here to check the bottom of the foot because maybe the figure is legit, they just had to make a new box. So now that I've taken both of these out of the box, I can see a couple differences with these figures that I couldn't have seen in the box. So for example the bottom of the feet both do have the copyright but the whole figure just looks a little off. You guys can see here, this is the knockoff one, the one that I think is kind of questionable, and his head is a lot smaller than this one right here. You guys can see that this one's a little bit more rounded, where this one looks a little boxy. And on the top of the head, also, this one's pushed in really far, where this one's kind of just, you know, kind of rounded off at the top. I'm also noticing that the machetes are different colors as well. This one has like a darker red when it comes to the blood, where this one is like almost like a lighter pinkish red. Okay guys, so this is also kind of funny. I noticed that they gave him like a skin tone kind of neck color, where on this one, there's nothing. Aha! Uh -huh. Also, on the real one, it has a little stamp on the back of the head where this one does not. So I feel like this one is a pretty big fake. So I'm not sure, but whatever it is, it is questionable. All right, so those were the two that I actually had the real figures of and we can compare them to. Now this third one is just something kind of fun that I thought was too good to be true. And that right there is the Metallic Alien from San Diego Comic-Con 2012 and I got this one for $30. And before I had even looked at this one in person, I knew it wasn't going to be real just because $30 for like a $900 figure is just too crazy. And I had actually looked up this figure a little bit before it had came in because I didn't have a figure to compare it to. So I thought I would have some facts ready for you guys just to let you know if this was legit or not. And the first thing that there is here is that the sticker is completely different than the real one. The normal sticker is a dark maroon color where this is like a light pink. I had actually found the exact photos of this figure online somewhere. So it looks like they've been selling them to a couple people. So if you do see a figure like this, be weary. Another thing that really threw me off was the actual character. Now I want to take this one out of the box just to show you what the metallic looks like on this one. Alright guys, so if you want to take a little bit of a closer look at this one, there it is right there. You guys can see with this one, they're all kind of like pastel colors and the metallic doesn't look very great. But with the legit one, the colors on it are all very dark and then they're also way more metallic. And the website that I ordered these from, I checked, I could add as many of these as I wanted to my cart, so that also kind of threw up a red flag as well. Well, the one thing that I want you guys to take away from this video is that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And if you're gonna be ordering figures, I would make sure that they are legit sources, and maybe not places from like China or Vietnam, because that's where Funko gets all of their figures made, and you might get something like this in the mail. Because at the end of the day, I want you guys to get figures that you're happy with and that they're 100% legit. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.